Do you have to schedule meetings for others besides yourself, a manager or an executive? Maybe somebody on your team needs to have the capability of scheduling meetings on your behalf. This video is going to show you how you're able to schedule WebEx meetings on behalf of someone directly in your Outlook calendar. I'll be demonstrating this on my Windows computer. Before we get started on how to do it, we need to make sure that we are properly set up to do it. First, you need to have the capability of scheduling meetings on behalf of another in Outlook. This is an Outlook setting. To do this, in Outlook, go to your calendar, find the Share Calendar button, click on the dropdown and select Calendar. Click on the Add button, search for the person's name that you would like to give scheduling capability to, click on Add and click on OK. Last step, make them a delegate, click on Apply and OK. Second, to add a WebEx meeting to an appointment, you need to install the Cisco WebEx Scheduler for Outlook found in Downloads. You can also check to see if you already have it. Look for the WebEx logo in the upper right corner of a new calendar appointment. For the third step, the person that you're scheduling meetings for needs to give you scheduling permission in their WebEx user account. To do this, they will sign into WebEx, click Settings, click Scheduling, and scroll to Scheduling Permission. In that field is where your email address is going to go. This is where they can also choose to toggle on the automatically share meeting content with my delegates if they would like you to have access to post meeting information. Now you're ready to schedule a meeting for that individual. My manager, Susan, has asked me to book a meeting with one of our new customers. I'm going to go to her schedule and create a new calendar appointment. I will fill out all the details as I always do when I'm scheduling appointments in Outlook. When it comes to inviting attendees, I'm going to include myself. In a moment, I'm going to show you how you can make yourself a co-host. This might be something you'll want to do should you require a backup person to open up that important meeting. Add WebEx to the meeting and you'll do that here. How easy was that? Before I hit send, let's see what preferences we can access. This is also where I'll make myself a co-host. To access the WebEx preferences for this meeting, click WebEx preferences. I can alter the password and choose my co-hosts, which is going to be me. This will give me the ability of starting this meeting or assisting in the live meeting. In advanced settings, I can choose to use join before host. This means if the meeting is not started by the host or a co-host, the attendees can come in either five, 10 or 15 minutes early. My WebEx integrated audio is set up to go. And finally, I can choose whether I'd like my attendees to be muted upon entry. Be sure to click on update if you make any changes. I'll hit send and now the meeting is scheduled. Let's move on to some best practices. Make yourself a co-host of the meeting so if needed, you can start that meeting. Define who is going to do what before and during the meeting. Have a quick practice run if it's your or your manager's first time using WebEx. Also, practice if you're new to scheduling this way.